Mga kapatid, ang sedula, ang sagisag na tayo ay nasa ilalim ng ibang bansa. Sagisag na tayo ay nasa ilalim ng Espanya. Mga kapatid, magmula sa araw na ito, hindi na tayo nasa ilalim ng Espanya. Mula sa araw na ito, ang sedula lang ito, wala nang bisa. Tulad ng ating mga ninuno, magmula ngayon, tayo ay malaya. Mga kapatid, kalayaan o kalipinan! Kalayaan! Kamatayan o kabuhayan! Kabuhayan! Samahan niyo ako mga kapatid, bawiin natin ang atin! Kalabanin natin ang mga barel! Kalabanin natin ang mga kanyon! Kantin niyo ang sarili niyo kalayaan! Mabuhay ang katagalugan! Mabuhay! Ayang Realize that we may have any
Having a quiz B, we do have the same three different levels of questions. Ten coming from the EC, or a fifteen rather, fifteen coming from the EC, ten from the average, and five coming from the difficult uh, part. And uh, in different subject matters, we got English, Math, Filipino, Science, and AP. And uh, in accordance with how are we going to rumble the subjects, Ma'am Joy will going to have it with you. Thank you po, Ma'am Joy. Yung sa 15 na easy, um, ang una dyan will be science followed by AP. Or wala kayong AP na since senior high school kayo, but you have some social studies na mga subjects. So dun, dun kami nanguha uh, or nag-ask ng questions for this quiz B. So, after AP, we'll have math. May gen math kayo, tama? Statistic. May tama po ba ako? Ayan. Ayan. Galing sa kanila din. Then, Filipino and English. So, naka-open naman ang camera nyo. We will use again quizzes for this uh, quiz B. And ang basis pa din natin for the winner, isa lang magiging winner, mga anak. Um, is the accuracy. Kanina sa grade 7, ang nakalagay sa leaderboard um, yung isa na 21 lang yun nakuha pero siya yung nasa unahan kasi mas mabilis siyang magsagot. But we will not base on that. We will base it um, on the accuracy. Kung ano yung madaming tama. Just like last time. Diba? Ganun yung ginawa natin. So, oh, sino- the other instructions include po yung quizmaster po natin pabasahin po niya yung questions pero kung alam naman po natin yung answer, pwede na po tayong pumindot. So far na intindihan po ba? Okay, kapag may tiebreaker, sa speed po tayo babase na mananalo or yung winner natin. Additional information nga pala or instruction, kapag uh, may instance na huminto yung um, meet, Kasi 40, 40 minutes lang yung uh, recorded niya kasi nakapin lang tayo. So, babalik din kayo agad. May sasend ulit si Ma'am Georgie para makabalik tayo agad. Yung quizzes, huwag niyo muna i-close hanggat maaari. Okay? Nakakaintindihan? Okay. So, pakita. Pakita. I'm so, na. Parang kung intindihan na. Okay. So, pwede na ba tayo magsimula? Ito ay kilala bilang Circumpacific Seismic Belt sa Pacific. Pamir, Himalayas, Pacific Ring, or Mount Everest. Next question, number eight. Ito ay tumutukoy sa pag-aaral ng mga katangiang pisikal ng daigdig, pinagkukunang yaman, klima, vegetation cover, at aspetong pisikal ng populasyon nito. Astronomia, geografiya, arkeologo, or siyensya.
Foundation One Direction, a stable future for the hope of the nation. Let's talk about it. Direction is the course or path on which something is moving or pointing. Now, what is vision? Vision is an experience in which a personage, things, or event appears vividly or credibly to the mind, although not actually present, often under the influence of a divine or other agency. Why do we need one vision for one direction? A vision acts as a map, guiding your life in the right direction. It serves as a powerful tool for inspiration and motivation, which strengthen your ability to focus. Without one, your focus will falter and quickly get sidetracked by every shiny distraction. Let's discuss how vision reflects the direction. We therefore acknowledge the need to further mainstream sustainable development at all levels, integrating economics, social, and environmental aspects, and recognizing their interlinkage so as to achieve sustainable development in all its dimensions. We recognize that poverty, irresidation, changing unsustainable and promoting sustainable patterns of consumption and production and protecting and managing the natural resource based of economic and social development are the overarching objectives of and essential requirements of sustainable development. We also reaffirm the need to achieve sustainable development by promoting sustained, inclusive and equitable economic growth creating greater opportunities for all, reducing equalities, raising basic standards of living, fostering equitable social development and inclusion, and promoting integrated and sustainable management of natural resources and ecosystems that supports inter alia economic, social, and human development while facilitating economic system, regeneration, restoration, and resilience in the face of new and emerging challenges. We recognize that people are at the center of sustainable development, that in this regard we strive for a world that is just, equitable, and inclusive, and we commit to work together to promote sustained and inclusive economic growth, social development, and environmental protection, and thereby to benefit all. We also reaffirm the importance of freedom, peace, and security respect for all human rights, including the right of development and the right of an adequate standard of living, including the right of food, the rule of law, gender equality, women's empowerment, and the overall committed to just and democratic societies for development. We recognize that opportunities for people to influence their lives and future participate in decision-making, and voice their concern are fundamental for sustainable development. We underscore that sustainable development requires concrete and urgent action. It can only be achieved with a broad alliance of people, governments, civil society, and the private sector, all working together to secure the future we want for present and future generations. Here are some of the people who can visualize a stable future for the nation. Jack Gregg, 26, associated at Tech for Australia, Melbourne. Invest in well-being projects because our children's future demand it. As technology progresses at a rapid rate, we know that the future of work will look very different to the one that we are educating our children for right now. Schools around the world are the effectively educating for the future are focusing on well-being and the things that matter, like how to strengthen positive relationships, enhance personal resilience, and explore what it means to be a contributing global citizen. In other words, students in these schools are not just being taught the facts, but are learning how to think and thrive in our complex and interconnected world. If we want to genuinely catalyze a shift to figure-oriented teaching, we want to equip our teachers with strategies and practice and promote well-being on a daily basis. Chetna Ben, 25, Assistant Lecturer at the University of the South Pacific, Suva, Fiji. Focus on solving the socio-economic challenges in the country. I draw inspiration from the principles of Nelson Mandela to dream big, walk to freedom, to be resistant, 
to promote equality and uphold persistence and confidence. If I were a prime minister, I would be the first female prime minister in Fiji, a country which is beautiful yet still developing. Much of this is attributed to the insecurity of women and children and rise in crime. Gender discrimination at work, street harassment, and rape are become a growing concern. There is an urgent need to foster safety at home, school, workplace, and the community at large. I have a vision of a nation where all citizens will be given due respect, regardless of sex, ethnicity, or disability. I will work with communities all elevate poverty and ensure that every family has food on their table. I will encourage all citizens to play their part in facilitating economic growth, social security, and environmental sustainability. I hope after you watch this video, you can invention a stable future for the nation. Pero I would still choose face-to-face -face class over online class 
But the positive side of online class naman for me is that I learned how to appreciate more. Hindi kasi talaga may iwasan ang mabagal na internet sa kapaglalag ng laptop. Tapos, wala ka na lang magagawa. Saka nung nag a pa ako sa bagong way of learning, pinaaral ko rin kung paano inabit ng Google Classroom and yung iba pa. Then, what makes it less stressful is yung teachers kasi they make the classroom as enthusiastic and as interactive as possible kasi malapit din instructions eh. And also, yung fact na lahat ng kailangan to sa online classes, within reach ko na lang. During online class, I liked the comfortability of our home. But at the same time, it was hard for me because I can talk to my classmates like I used to. And di pa nga, no man is an island. It just really takes a lot to have a concentration, focus in online class. Kasi yung surroundings, and also yung mga ginagamit ko in online class. So, hook din talaga yung pasensya ko. How do you overcome those struggles during online class? I just go with the flow. <laughs> Hindi ako yung type na nagpaplanan. Time management. Hindi naman kasi mawawala yung struggles sa lahat ng bagay. Kahit nung face-to-face -face may struggle pa din. Depende lang talaga sa tao kung paano niya ihahandle yung struggle na yun. Para sa akin, time management is the key. I do my own activities on time para hindi ako matatambakan ng trabaho. And in that way, it's not that stressful and I have more time to relax. And dapat, lumayo ka sa mga distractions na nakapaligid sa'yo kasi kapag nangyari yun, wala kang matatrabaho or matatapos sa mga gawain mo. Ako kasi yung tipo ng tao na kapag may activity, ginagawa ko na lang. Although sometimes, I don't do it immediately. I just make sure that I do it before the deadline and before ako matambakan ng classwork. Kasi for me, you don't, I think you don't need to be well organized in order to overcome those struggles. You just have to be sensible enough. It is important that I always give time for the studies and also for myself. Kailangan balance nila kasi kung hindi ka maglalaan ng time para sa sarili mo, Mauubos ka at hindi ka nang maglalaan ng time para sa pag-aaral or sa studies mo, hindi mauubos yung activities at magpapile up na ang mga ito. For me, being productive and having the will to learn is the best thing to overcome the struggles in online class. How do you make yourself productive? The reward. Eagerness. The deadline, I make schedule and set deadlines for myself. I am the type of person kasi na nagpa-plan agad ahead of time. A friend is also helpful for me kasi kapag may kasabay kang gumawa, mas namumotivate kang maging productive and gawin lahat yung mga dapat mong gawin. In that way, meron din akong napagtatanungan sa mga bagay na hindi ko maintindihan and also may kadamay din sa stress. <laughs> I make myself productive by thinking of the satisfaction that I'll get after I'm done with my work. Kasi hindi naman talaga may iwasan na minsan hindi ka productive tapos pinipilit mo lang yung sarili mo. Ika nga nila, fake it till you make it. Uh, you have to motivate yourself kasi ang makakatulong sa'yo, ikaw lang din. I don't want procrastination. So if there's an activity, as much as possible, I will do it immediately. Tinata ko sa utak ko na okay self, dapat Saturday tapos mo na ang mga activities para Sunday wala ka nang gagawin. Malaking tulong din talaga yung pagkausap sa rinig. Of course, you still have to know your capacity na ay hanggang dito lang ang kaya ko. Kasi hindi naman din natin mapipilit ang sarili natin kung hindi naman talaga natin kaya. Pero ako, hanggat kaya ko, ipipigay ko ang best ko. What inspires you to be productive? My dream! My goals in life. Success in the future. Palaging sinasabi ng mga magulang ko na kailangan namin magtapos ng pag-aaral 
para lang mga hindi namin nakukuha ngayon o nabibili mo, makukuha namin kapag nagkatrabaho ko. And what really inspires me the most is my parents. If I won't survive these struggles, how would I return all their sacrifices and give them a better life? And then, oh no, I'm going to be a engineer and I'm going to be an engineer. Try to imagine yourself where you'd like to be in years to come. Do you think you want to do things to make those come true? The feel of the power of the world is to be able to do the future. And thinking of me being a psychologist inspires me. And seeing myself in a situation so gratifying. You will see the right. I am driven by the desire to achieve my dreams. Hindi naman ako laging productive. Hindi rin naman ako kapalinuhan, sipag, tsaka, at patience lang talaga. Lahat naman ng bagay may difficulties. Kumbaga, to live is to struggle because struggle is the first step in achieving our goals. The struggle itself also inspires me to be productive. Hindi ka matutupo kung walang pag-ihirap. I won't stop until I have RMP or Registered Medical Technologies after my life. Why do you have to survive the struggles amid pandemic? I want a stable future. better possibilities 
in our career and personal growth. Improving. Surviving. Unchanging. One of the most important to the life of every Filipino is the education of every child in the family. Education is one thing that other people cannot get from us. It is a very important factor in the life of every Filipino for them to succeed and have a better future ahead. Education is important to Filipinos because it helps people improve their communication skills by teaching them on how to read, write, speak, and listen. Education helps people meet basic jobs requirements and increases their chances of getting better jobs. Here in the Philippines, people are being labeled based on their level of education achieved. So, Filipinos strive to study hard to be financially stable in the future. We have a quote that's saying, education is the key. With education, we could have so many things to solve that could benefit our country. It includes the poverty, ignorance, economy, and many more. I do believe that education is important to our country because it boosts our economic growth. The best investment a country can make is in human capital. If you let all your citizens have free access to education, you will have a vast number of highly skilled and knowledgeable people. Education is important to our country because today's countries compete on literacy rates which leads to higher economic growth and development. Education's goal is to help us become successful and at the same time help our country to develop. So we should have one vision, one direction, for a stable future for the hope of the nation. Jai Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Ram.